Hey internet, welcome to another tutorial. This video is brought to you by Muscle Milk. Safety Squad! Another tutorial. This video brought to you by Muscle Milk. So today we're gonna do kind of a synth lesson. I got my Roland Gaia SH201 here. Ignore the blood stains, please. Seriously, ignore them. Seriously, ignore them. Unless you want your blood to be on here next. We're gonna have a pretty simple lesson today. Um, this is kind of for total beginners, noobs, idiots, dummies, who don't know how to zero out a synthesizer. We're gonna learn how to delete the patch and how to zero out the synth, and then what you might do from there to explore the different types of sounds. So we're gonna learn how to make an initial preset sound where basically it's just the basic saw wave, one oscillator, no effects or anything done to it. And then we're gonna learn how to zero out all the dials and knobs so that we can start moving from there and know what we're doing as we're moving the sliders and turning the knobs. Making a blank patch on the Roland Gaia! You hold down the shift key, this is kind of a magic key right here, and then you hit the right button, it zeroes everything out. So. It's just on this first oscillator wave, this uh, saw wave right here, um, and everything is totally zeroed out. But notice, all of our faders and stuff are all, uh, all the sliders and knobs are kind of in different spots. So we should zero everything out. Zeroing out the knobs, dials, slideys, and stuff! Going from left to right is probably the easiest way to do it. You want this fade time all the way down, and you want these LFO sliders to be right in the center. On this synth, it's cool, you can kind of feel that notch, and that's probably true on a lot of synths. Probably the rate all the way down, I'm honestly not too sure, actually. Wow, great teacher, Danny. On the oscillator section, you want your pitch knob exactly on the zero and your detune knob on the zero. We want these pulse width modulation sliders all the way down, as well as these attack and decay of the key on and the envelope depth to be zeroed out. Moving over to the filter, we want the cutoff turned all the way up and the resonance turned all the way down. We want the key follow knob to be centered. Then we want on the filter envelope, we want the attack, sustain, and release all the way down and the decay all the way up. And we want the envelope depth to be zeroed out right in the middle. Amp envelope is going to be the same as the attack envelope. Attack, sustain, and release all the way down with the decay all the way up. Amp level, I guess, put that kind of wherever you need it to be to hear yourself. So I'm going to turn it all the way up. Once you have it zeroed out, any knob or slider or anything you turn is going to affect the sound. Since our fun and stuff, don't you like it? Playing basic waveform types! I would go to where the oscillators are, and I would just change the waveform, play through each of these different waveforms. synth you have and you can kind of get in your ears what a saw wave sounds like, what a square wave, pulse wave, etc. That's going to help when you're listening to music to go, oh, I think they're using this kind of waveform. Now, this synth has a variation button too, which is very cool because each wave actually has three different types. So our saw wave, which I'm on right now, it can sound like that or this or this. And here's the first one again. You can get a lot of different colors out of that. It might be more obvious with this triangle wave. Go through and play these different ways, maybe play their variations too. And then the first knob I would look at to try and uh, understand what the knob's doing is your cutoff knob. Using the cutoff knob! <coughs> 
your synth should default to the low pass filter, the LPF being selected. If for some reason it's not, maybe it's on bypass, I would move it to the LPF, low pass filter. And then play your sound and then turn this knob. Notice how it's, it's taking color away from the sound. When it's all the way up, you're letting all of the spectrum of the EQ through, but as we turn it down, we're cutting off the high end of the sound. Here on the lower part of the sound stays longer. Maybe it might be more obvious on one of these beefier synths. Here you can hear the lower end of the sound as I turn it up, the higher end of the sound comes through. So it's kind of interesting, this is subtractive synthesis. We're actually coloring the sound by removing uh, some of the frequencies. If you're a beginner on synths and you're looking for ways to come up with your own sounds or understand how other people are making their sounds, just make sounds. All you gotta do is make sounds. I would, on your synth, figure out how to zero out the patch. So on this, remember it's that shift right. And I would zero out your knobs and dials like I showed you earlier. Play the different waveforms, see what they sound like. Try and get comfortable with what those sounds are. And you can do the different variation on the waveforms and mess with the cutoff knob. I don't know what's going on at all. If you do that, you're halfway to becoming a, a synth adventurer and being able to play shredded synth solos. That'd be cool if I did like a cut to me like doing that with a, a track behind me. If you like lessons like this, or you like listening to fun, awesome, groovy, improvised music, uh, click that like and uh, subscribe button so you can figure out when we're making videos and posting stuff next, and we'll catch you next time. Stay safe! It's, it's a lot, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it, make, making, making synth sounds is, uh, it's, uh, 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 it's a lot, a lot of fun.